Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I hope everybody's doing great out there. We really, really do. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful day out here. It is, as you can see, blue skies, airplanes flying in there. Yeah, it looks like an airplane up there. If you guys could see it or not. Um, it's a nice day. It's Albeit it is hot, it was about 100 degrees or better. Uh, where we were for most of the day and in case you guys haven't been with us all that long um, We live a minimalist lifestyle. So we live in a 19 foot camper uh, So you know that, that equates to just a little bit over a hundred square feet um, And then at the same time, you know that that's all we really need for the most part if the weather is good You know if you could get out there. So we're looking forward to the fall and we're also heading towards cooler pastures right now again. Um, so much going on. If you guys saw the post up on Evolutionary, we went by, well, yeah, we went by an area where it looked like there was whole missile batteries set up. Kind of reminded me of Patriot missiles or like the Iron Dome. And they were aiming towards Vegas, basically. They were just north of Vegas. Um, you know, on the Air Force Base area. So there can be war games going on, things like that. Uh, as I shared, you know, Cindy has lived in the area over there. She had lived there for like 25 years or so and very, very used to what happens in driving by the area and doesn't remember ever seeing anything like that before. There was also hundreds of tanks out there. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anything like that. I've driven by there seriously, literally hundreds of times, I'm sure. And it's like they have a whole new setup and um, it looks it looks really eerie. But that's not all because, you know, we, we get contacts every day from hundreds of people. And so there's a lot of people that are seeing unusual military activity uh, in their area. And while I'm thinking about it, let me hand this to you. Yeah, we're gonna look up, some, show you guys some things that are going on. We, unfortunately, we're in a time now where we have to watch our vocabulary words. So there's some things we can show you on the screen, some things we hope you'll pick up on. What ultimately we're trying to do is get the truth out there. And so, if you guys can make it this out, these are not normally there. And this is Kansas. This is Kansas, and it's loaded. Well, we have talked about before, and I showed you um, a stealth bomber that was in Kansas as well. And thank you, Brother Mark, for giving us all this information. Um, there's a lot of unusual military activity going on right now, but is there any, you know, who wouldn't expect it when you look at what's happening right now out there? It's wild what's going on right now. There's a lot of unprecedented things going on as I will try to get this in there for you guys can see. And this is out of the WAR zone. As you see, unprecedented patrol right on the edge of Rusky territory as I try to make it so that things won't get detected. We also had CHINA accusing Taiwan of shooting down one of their planes today. So, you know, again, there's so much going on. It's, it's getting very, very close as far as that goes um, to the start of probably what's going to be uh, open conflict and so we need to be um, as prepared as we can and I know you know some of the some of the comments are you know you there's nothing that we could do to prepare for what's coming and some people uh, are viewing everything as just kind of like completely hopeless but you know this again we are consciousness consciousness is what we are uh, if we could meditate and discover that we're way more than the body way more than the body the body is just a vehicle we've done this many many times so we're here and it's all about how we're going to react to everything that's going on 
you know, in the face of adversity, are we going to try to lift each other up um, and and try to come together as they are trying to just pry us and split us apart into these very, very, well, tense, aggressive groups that are so frustrated. And, you know, there is this grand awakening of consciousness going on right now, and, and it's a beautiful thing. Because we are going to go to a place that is just unbelievable. But this, again, this is the, the birth pangs of the new. And also, it's really the passing away of the old. And this isn't the first time that this world has seen this. Um, no, definitely not. You know, this is uh, something that's happened again and again. And this isn't their first rodeo. And they know how to control us. And how to do things to keep us manageable. So I think the most important thing to do, as always, is to really go within. And as you're getting ready for things to change, don't go, don't bring yourself down those thoughts of the worst possible case scenario, even though you do want to prepare for the worst, but expect the best. Expect for there to be like a little bump in the road and you're gonna be fine. I think that's where it's important to put our energy because our energy truly matters. So, you know, and then of course we will have the comments that say, you know, just look to this one particular tradition and you'll find all the answers. Um, but if we really look at all traditions, then we could find the answers uh, through others, the eyes of the other. You know, see the world through the eyes of your neighbor and perhaps it will illuminate your own vision of what's going on to a much higher degree. The problem is we have all been separated. We've been broken down into these factions. And I don't know, I probably quoted this a thousand times, if not more. You know, look at them, they're united. Come, let us go down there and let's confuse their language so they can't communicate, which will enable, them, enable the controllers to just keep us at odds with each other. And so when we look over towards uh, the Vedic traditions and the wisdom that's in the East, we know that there's other yugas, there's other ages. A yuga means age, basically, an era, an epoch, a certain period of time. Now we are in the Kali Yuga. So Hanuman uh, once explained the various yugas to Bhima, who was the third Pandava. So when we look at the Mahabharata, and uh, the Bhagavad Gita, it's, it's about the time period when Krishna lived. About 5,000 years ago is what most people take it to be. Uh, according to tradition, Krishna left, you know, around just a little bit farther, uh, anywhere between 3102 and 3114 BC. And again, you know, it's through oral traditions and writing, which is how all these... Uh, "Quote unquote holy books have been given, and when we look at it, it's very interesting. So Hanuman said that the Satya Yuga, or the Kritya Yuga, was the most beautiful time of, of all. There was actually no religion because everybody lived and was acting as a saint. We can't imagine that in this time, but this time has been very, very perverse and." It's just been so saturated with a lot of darkness. So people were so pious, they did not have to perform any sort of religious rites to attain moksha, which is like enlightenment and understanding. No one was poor or rich. No one had to labor as they received everything by will, manifestation. There was no evil, hatred, sor sorrow, or fear and the Tretra Yuga, piety and righteousness, lessened. People started to perform religious ceremonies and obtain things by doing and giving. And the Dwapara Yuga, righteousness further decreased. The Vedas were divided. The people who knew the Vedas were very few in number. Desire, disease, and calamities overtook humanity. And then in the Kali Yuga, as Lord Krishna had said, the world loses all its righteousness People are corrupt and perform evil on a daily basis. Diseases and afflictions plague every human, 
No one knows the Vedas in its entirety and its true essence. People fight over petty things like religion and land. Even hard work refuses to pay good results. And people who perform bad deeds sit on top of the societal ladder. And so in the uh, Uddhava Gita, there's a story where Krishna teaches the four younger Pandavas, who are brothers, what the Kali Yuga will, will be like. So, you know, this again is from about 5,000 years ago. And he, t he gives them the description. And it's, it's very, very much like the times that we are living in. Lifespans will be shortened. People will cheat each other. People will murder and steal. Those that can get by by doing the most malicious and grievous things, but but accumulate wealth will be viewed as something to strive for. Just a total backward civilization, a total backward culture. People will, will forget compassion and love. And he gives a very, very accurate description of where we find ourselves. And also just because of so much evil and everything abounding, uh, lifespans will decrease because in the golden ages people lived for very very long periods of time like the gods thousands of years and then it decreases all the way down to around 50 years on average at one point and it's just a very sad sad situation but at the same time it's time for us to rejoice at the prospects that that's all ending and we're coming out of the Kali Yuga even though we see these countries doing what they're doing and the powers that be shuffling all the militaries of the world into p position to start what would be a horrific war, uh, we have to send our prayers and intentions out there for the best possible situation and know that we are co-creators here. They have always tried to put us down by making us think that we're much more limited beings than we, than we truly are. For source lies within all of us. Every single one of us has source within us, God within us. And we have to recognize that, you know, there's been so many different amazing beings that have walked on this planet trying to give us an idea of how to really live and how to live in a harmonious way. And many times they are taken, taken far too early in their lives by the darker powers. They are, and it's really sad. But, you know, we're coming up on a time now where um, we're moving into more light. Our light bodies are being activated. Things are changing. And actually our, our energy body around us has even gotten thicker because I do, I do study the energy body and lately they've had to actually change some of the tuning forks that I use when I work on people because the old tuning forks they were not cutting through the traumas like like they used to so that's like physical proof there that things are changing and people are changing and it's just it's really sad what they've done is they've really traumatized a lot of people so people feel like they need to move into a deceitful place to get what they want and they end up hurting other people and that goes on and on but I do feel like people are facing their shadows now. They're pulling out of it. They're getting better. They're being more meaningful. And that's just, it's really heartwarming to see. So Krishna says in the Kali Yuga, the pious men and the saints will be like the cuckoo, cuckoo bird. They will have sweet words, but they will exploit and inflict pain on their followers like the cuckoo was doing to the poor rabbit. And that's a uh, story that they tell over there. In the Kali Yuga, the poor and the rich will live in the same locality. The rich will be overflowing with fortune, but yet they will not spare a single coin to help the poor. And he also said, parents will love their children so intensely that they will end up spoiling them. And, you know, by spoiling them, they will not teach them righteousness and discipline. And thus, you know, they will be without motivation and they'll be very undisciplined and spoiled. And the people of the Kali Yuga will rush to their doom as well because they just don't understand the way that we are supposed to live. And, you know, we see all these different things all around us. 
and the Hopi again you know as well they have prophecies that are very very detailed about what's coming and about why it's coming it's because we've fallen away from living in harmony with each other and with nature and we've become a very very greedy self-serving society and it's not all people for there are many beautiful people out there there are many people with nothing and yet still happy as can be with nothing they, they recognize that it's not about accumulating things in fact the more you accumulate the more it weighs you down in so many ways so as we're watching everything unfold and you know these different events coming together we should take heart that we are heading towards a time that will be changed and we are heading in the right direction even though it looks like we're heading to oblivion at the moment well that's old saying you know that's going to get worse before it gets better or for those moms out there when you go clean your kids' room and you pull everything out of the closet and everything out from under the bed and it definitely looks a lot worse before it truly truly gets better so that's one of the things I feel we're looking at now is like everything's coming out of the closets from under the beds and we're seeing the the dirtiest of the dirty but it's gonna get cleaned up so guys we just wanted to share that with you hope you're having an awesome day as always, stay prepared and of course, you know, prepared in every way. And as we have shared, you know, perhaps the most important preparation is the spiritual one. As always, God bless and namaste. Namaste.